And now, for the latest in real estate news, here's your host, Tam Gonzalez. So, Mr. Trump, I just wanted to start off by thanking you so much for having me in your home today in Las Vegas. I know you're a very, very busy man. Well, you're more than welcome, but I am very, very busy. Lots to do, so we've got to make this quick, Tim. No okay. problem. I, I took some notes. I hope you don't mind. That's great. You know, a lot of times I do interviews, I think the people are just making the questions up, honestly. But this is great. It shows you're prepared. I like that. You're a good kid. Go ahead. So, let's just get down to it. I feel like you're probably the most controversial presidential candidate of all times. Uh, wait, wait a second. How am I controversial? I'm the least controversial. I want to make America great again. Well, for someone like me, you come off uh, very, very liberal in the way that you speak, but I know that you describe yourself as a very conservative Republican. Yeah, I don't know why you would think I'm liberal. I am a Republican. I'm a conservative. I'm a conservative Republican. It's as simple as that. Well, I like that you're a businessman and that you might be able to help the economy, but mm -hmm. you know, something that concerns me is an issue that's very close to my heart. What are you going to do to help the gay marriage issue? The gay marriage issue is, you know, it's, it's a, it's a touch, touchy issue. I mean, let's face it, it kind of divides the country. But I'm a unifier. I'm going to bring this country back together again. As you said, I'm very influential. I know a lot of people, a lot of influential people. I'm going to ask everyone I know, which is basically everyone, to stop having gay babies. No more gay children. And I think in about 20 years, I haven't worked out the math, in about 20 years, you won't even have an issue of gay marriage because they won't want to get married because there won't be any gay people. So it'll be all done. It'll be all over. I mean, we need a few for hair and makeup, obviously. Maybe a designer or two, max. But, you know, for the most part, no more gay people. No more gay marriage. There, it's done. You see that? No one even thought of that, but I did. That's why I'm doing so well in the polls. That's why Trump is number one. And let's make America great again. Well, I can't say that I love your plan, but I can say thank you for sharing it because I know that you like to keep your plans to yourself a lot. I absolutely do, you know, but I feel compelled to share it with you. So one of the main things I wanted to talk to you about was property values. I'm a real estate agent here in Las Vegas. Good for you. So I want to know um, how your presidency is going to affect property values. Um, specifically referring to the deportation. I know that you plan to deport a lot of the undocumented uh, Mexican million. people that, mm. that live and work with us. So right. how is that going to affect uh, the housing market? Well, first off, when I become president, probably on day one, the economy is going to absolutely soar. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be huge. Everyone's going to win when I become the president. As far as specifically as deporting the illegal Mexican immigrants in this area specifically, you are going to clean up. This is going to be huge. There's going to be inventory. Your clients are going to be able to get whatever they want. You're going to make a lot of money because when we deport the illegal immigrants back to Mexico, they're going to have have to make a quick sale. We're going to, you know, and it's going to be in pesos, you know what I mean? So it's going to be easy. We'll probably be offering bags of rice and live chickens and things like that. So they're really going to just grab this deal and move back across the board. I mean, you know, if they go on their own, that's even better. You know, you know, two chickens, we have to force them to go four chickens, they go on their own. Okay. That's huge. So, so the other issue that I see potentially is maybe mm. a little bit of backlash. Now this is a rumor, so I apologize in advance if it's not true, mm. but mm. something that I feel like can affect the economy is I heard the rumor that when you uh, build the T-wall, as I like to call it, that you're actually going to write on the Mexican side of the wall, you got trumped f***ers. Mm -hmm. That's right. And I, you know, it's, it, I, I like that you call it the T-wall. That's great. But if it could be Donald Trump, that would be even better. But on the Mexican side, we do plan on putting that up over the entire 2,000 miles, just over and over and over and over again. But the thing is, it's not for the Mexicans because they live here and they can't read or write English. So obviously, it's just going to be for the other side, for the people, like the press, when they go to that side. So it's going to be in, in English, and you think that they won't be able to read it? I, I know they can't. They can't read it here. They live here. Have you been to Home Depot? Have you been to Lowe's? It, everything's in, like, English and Spanish. Press one for English, press two for Spanish. I'm not pressing anything. You know, I don't use the phone, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, I mean, do you like anything about Mexico? What about their food? Do you like oh Mexican my, food? The fo I hate Mexican food. It's crap. It's crap. It, it looks disgusting. Disgusting. It looks like someone vomited on a plate. You know, tamales, enchiladas, whatever, quesadillas. It, it, it all looks the same. It sounds the same. I don't like beans. I never liked beans. They're horrible. It's a horrible food. But they refry them. Well, why would you take something that's horrible to begin with and make it worse? 
You know, with Mexican food, what you should do is just order Mexican food and just put it right in the toilet. <laughs> just skip very, eating very it. Very interesting perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't you're, tell me you like it. Do you like Mexican? I food? I love Mexican food, so I just I want to. Why would you put? Opinion. Why would you make something and then put it in a corn husk? It's not corn. <laughs> it's something. Don't, why, why, yeah, yeah, that, that makes no sense to me. Yeah, I've heard you refer to it as shit pudding. Shit pudding. That sounds good. That I like that. I'm going to use that again. Okay, so. I just want to take advantage of the fact that you're here. I want to ask for a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. How can I better my business? What can I do to serve my clients better? You know, how, how, what do you suggest? Well, you know what? You seem like you're very, very smart. You're very engaging. And I got to tell you, you don't need to do any service. You're a beautiful, beautiful woman. I own two pageants. I'm married to a former supermodel, Slovenian supermodel. She's gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You got a nice rack, I have to say. So just just you as the way you are, that's fine. You know what I mean? They're going to be beating down the, your door to do business with you just because you look so good. And because I'm here with you. Absolutely. That's another thing. I have to tell you, you better be prepared because once this airs, the phone is going to be ringing off the hook. You're going to be probably the single biggest real estate agent in all of Las Vegas because you're talking to me, you know. And have you been to Trump Tower? I actually have. Okay, Trump Tower here in Las Vegas. It's absolutely one of the most luxurious, prestigious, fantastic hotels on the entire Strip. I'd like to invite you to stay there, but unfortunately you're Mexican, you know, so I can't have that. But you can drive by and look at it as much as you want. Okay. Well, Mr. Trump. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you for all of your advice. Mm. I appreciate you very much. You're very, thank you so much. You're fantastic, Tam. Hire her to sell your house. She'll do a fantastic job. Contact Tam Gonzalez. She's the best. She knows real estate.